okay guys it's one Ontario rat one uh, pimped with pink scales and polished liners can't quite make it out in this light it's come out really well quite pleased with it uh, pink and black really pops super super smooth a lot smoother than what it was it needs wearing in bedding in only slight mistake was this pivot screw here it's obviously made out of plasticine and it's kind of stuck half in half out but um, I've got a spare one coming so I'll replace that easy enough once I've got another one Uh, this is going to be a collaboration competition between myself and Jay's Blades. I've still got to put a maker's mark of some kind on it yet. I haven't decided what or where. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show it off before the light faded. It's come out really nice. Obviously there's that little, little gap there between the liner. The liner and the handle there, but I'll fix that once I've got a replacement screw. Which is, like I say, it's on its way. Um, with thanks from um, Johnny Bollocks but yeah there you go a pink pimped rat one uh, don't forget to check out um, Jay's channel Jay Yahoo um, I'll let <laughs> I'm out in the middle of nowhere I'm not sure whether that's 100% correct I'll put a link in the bottom but yeah keep an eye out on my channel and his channel uh, this is going to be a prize along with a um, a slingshot catty. But yeah, I've got one other thing to show you. Uh, if you give me a second. I know some of you have seen this before guys. But um, I've refinished it. And it's come out nicer than what it was when I started. This is my design, the Salios. I'm sure you've all seen the video. I know some of you have... Uh, not 100% familiar with the, the slingshots or the catties that I make. Uh, this is a, one of the more high-end ones. This is the, the the polar opposite from the G10. Um, this is Macus Ebony. And the sunlight, that grain is just insane. Um, but it's overcast and cloudy and about to go dark. And this side is lignum vitae and lemon wood i can't remember it's a latin name with the lemon wood on the top there it's tip accents uh the finish on it was a little well it wasn't up to par so i've refinished it today which is a miracle it's managed to work considering how cold it is there's a tiny tiny little you can't quite make it out there's a tiny tiny little over spray mark there um but it's so cold the ambient temperature makes it so difficult to actually um, to actually get this sort of finish to stick. Um, it's a it's a high grade car lacquer. It goes rock hard. I don't like using the poly because it never never fully never fully cures. It always stays soft in my eyes. I don't know whether it's me just putting it on wrong, but I don't get on with it. You know, some people like, like John, he's really good with it, but uh, it's not my cup of tea so I use the lacquer and this goes like glass when it's finished it's rock hard but there you go guys I wish it was sunny so you could see the grain really popping it but you can't and this will get posted tomorrow along with the other one it's off to a new home and there you go guys right I'm going to move on before the fucking mosquitoes maul me. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>